to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Ike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. Yeah, I hear you got something for me today. I do, man. We're going to talk about... We're going to talk about uh, a city that is not a city that me or you even live into. All right. We don't live there. I've been there before. I lived there for five years. I lived there. So yeah. we're going to talk about Mayor Eric Adams. Okay. He's been brought up on some pretty serious charges. Yeah. The city that never sleeps. The Big Apple. Yep. What else is it called? Uh, Give me another one. Stades. That, that's a good one. Sounds good. Stades. <laughs> uh, so he's been brought up on some pretty serious charges where he has been accepting contributions from a foreign power. Oh, yeah? And not claiming them on his old uh, political taxes. His old W-2? So back in, like, I believe it was like 2021, 2020, he exchanged some text messages that have resurfaced. With Kim Jong-un? With the Turkish government. He had made trips over to Turkey, um, some of them costing $15,000 tickets for, for a very reduced fee. He has accepted gifts at one point. An aide said they caught him uh, taking a $100,000 donation. And when they decided to say how would he claim that receiving the money from the Turkish government, they explained that, oh, we have an American we have a Turkish American who will just kind of, we'll give him the money and he'll make the donation to the campaign. Okay. And, uh, it turns out that a lot of this preferential treatment was that in, uh, 2021, I believe there was, uh, the Russian consulate wanted to build a skyscraper in New York, but they didn't want to adhere to New York's fire code. And when the fire chief said that, there's no way this building is going to make cold. Eric Adams said that people will lose their jobs if this building is not allowed to be built in the time limit. Oh, okay. But then the heat got on him. He ended his relationship with the Turkish consulate with the consulate. And uh, now he's playing defense. He's playing go to jail. So he's about to play. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to play that. From what I understand, <laughs> he's about to play go to jail. So the the charges are pretty serious. He's already come out with statements saying is that uh, the American government is going to be uh, pr prosecuting me, and that it is all based in lies. But it looks like the text messages and the accounts from the the aides that actually witnessed some of this behavior it's it's pretty damning. Here's the thing, though. The U.S. government usually doesn't indict you mm -hmm. until they literally don't even have to try to co to uh, convict you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They're gathering the information while you're already doing oh, the crime. Oh, they'll let you do all your stuff for, like, years. Yes. And just be like, oh, and just be having all of it. They have, like, a notepad outside your house just like, and then he did this. Yep. And then he did this. Oh, yeah, they let you run. They let you go for a little bit. Keep racking them up. Good. Yeah. Well, we'll make sure we got... All the charges. Yeah. Like. How far are you going to take this, buddy? Because yeah. we're going to take it that far, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so, like, yeah. I mean, it's even like, even when you look at like the Diddy stuff, it's like they were monitoring him bef way before they raided his house. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, keep on going, buddy. All right, we're good. But now we're going to go pull all the stuff from your house. Yeah. And now we got you. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it yeah, takes, man. It just takes time. It takes a minute. Here is, here, here is where this, this, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get political about it because it's not just political. It's not. This is insane what this man was doing. It's a little crazy. I feel. A little crazy. It is. The world is so greed based <laughs> anymore oh. that people will do anything uh, uh, uh. for money. <laughs> yes. And that it that and that can be a bum on the street. Yes. That can be an elected official of the biggest city in the country. Yes. Yes. It can be I mean, senators, like I mean, whoever, man. People are out here doing dirty ish for just for That's, money. It kind of does it promotes a lot of people's decision making. I agree with that. And it sucks because it like does. these people, especially like him, 
elected officials are elected into office to make change and be better. And then you're out here just taking bribes and like, dude, it's just like, man, it's, it's so, it's very disappointing and discouraging. It is very disappointing and discouraging, but I think it's to a certain extent, Joe, I feel like it's this disappointing, and discouraging, disappointing and discouraging about humanity as a whole. Right. Cause I wouldn't go to work if they didn't pay me. Uh, right. So is this a level of like, how dirty would you get for that money? Would you go to work? Heck yeah. Would you rob somebody at a store? Heck yeah. Would you put everybody's life in danger in your city? Heck yeah. Would yeah, you, I mean, would you start a war in a foreign country? Heck yeah. I don't know. How far are you willing to go? Yeah, I mean, it's... For, it's, for the dollar. Man, it's, it's insane, dude. I just... Yeah, I I have a hard time, like, mm-hmm. yeah, just, mm, man, I, I understand why people do it, because, you know, a lot of times they get life-changing money because of this stuff, but the it mayors, is... Mayors don't make a lot of money. <clears throat> no, but they make enough. Um, yep. But does anybody ever make enough money? Like, you, I, I, feel, yeah. I have a feeling like Bezos out here being like, mm-hmm. Tight this month, like, bro. Get the hell out <laughs> Eric, of here. Eric Adams, uh, he likes to make. A, he makes like that. Uh, he likes to be a celebrity. He's showing up at the parties. He has uh, like every time you see him, he's got a champagne glass in the air. He's listening to the, the Diddy songs and he's hitting on women. He Poor made guys. Two hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars. Two hundred fifty. That's salary. Yeah. That's yep. like how much presidents make. I was going to say, isn't that the same the president makes? <laughs> yeah, I think if you're an ex-president, you 500000 President salary. The president makes four hundred k a year and okay. gets an expense, a monthly expense allowance of $50,000. So they make a million, about a million, just over a million dollars a year okay. with their expense okay. allowance, right. which to run the most powerful country in the world is probably not enough money. No, 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 no. Because you got to fly, man. You got to fuel your fuel. Your you jets. have to decide everything. And play. I mean, can you imagine? They have to play such a game constantly. Like push, no, push, don't push too much. Pull, give, rub necks. <laughs> Isn't what they say? <laughs> Are you talking about a sexual encounter? <laughs> No, it's push uh, and give too rub much. elbows. That's what not rub, rub, rub necks. necks, rub elbows. It still sounds like a sexual encounter. <laughs> it's, it's just, um, this is getting. No, Dude, I get you. It's a tough job. It's a tough. It's psychological jobs can be just as difficult as a physical. Well, right. Job. I mean, look. Even look at like somebody like Barack, who was young. He was he was all young and looked all virile. Gets out gray haired. Even the, everybody leaves that office with gray hair. I mean, you, it doesn't help they're ninety when they go in. I was gonna say eight years, you know. But, if, but Barack was young. Dude. He was thirty. He was like 35, 37, yeah, eight years, you know. Yeah, he, I mean, it's like forty something. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was. I think he was in his late forties, which was like the youngest president in a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Eight so years, eight years it'll be. That but like, watch, watch, uh, watch, uh, Camilla get. Well, she'll be gray hair by the time she gets out. Are you? You, <laughs> you think? She, She's gonna, I'm joking. No, you are. Uh, you showed your. You showed your true colors. Everybody saw it. <laughs> what? When, <laughs> when she gets out. Jonas is voting for what's her name? Jill Scott Green. What's I'm her name? The Green for Party. Jonas. I'm writing it in. By the way, grassroots campaign. Write in Jonas J. Jakakis. Vote. Do you think people would vote for me or they would vote for you if we were running for president? Do you think you could beat me in a presidential election? A presidential <laughs> election. <laughs> Do you think you could beat me in a presidential uh, election? I think people would vote for me. Okay, I like that. You got to have that confidence in your heart. If I'm, I'm going to run, I'm going to win. Yeah, yeah. Even I'm if glad I don't think I'm going to win, I gotta, I'm going to win. That's the right answer, honestly. That's the right answer. <laughs> I think you would win, too. <laughs> Whatever. You just said you needed to have the, the hubris, and then you're like, nah, you'd win. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I just think it's it's very weird. Like, I just, I don't know. All of it. It's like every day it feels like you're hearing a story about somebody who is an elected official doing something inappropriate yeah, with money, bribes. Most of them, I feel like, kind of are doing some dirty-ish, man. It just depends on who you're doing dirty-ish with. If you're doing dirty-ish with the people who it's okay to do dirty-ish with, then you're safe. But when you start heading overseas, like, and it, it's, it's, it was so obvious because, like, there's text messages, there's witnesses. Like, you can't fight that. No. And it may just be like a hit piece, but you can't. Ugh, boy, you can't be doing that, man. 
yeah, foreign man, governments? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty wild. Because they want to build a skyscraper in your city, brother? What are you doing? Dude, it's it's insane. So, But anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Yep.